ligation. Tubal ligation, which is sometimes known as having your tubes tied, is a surgical procedure that closes your fallopian tube so that your eggs cannot be fertilized. Tubal ligation is considered a permanent method of birth control. Understanding tubal ligation, risks and benefits. Since this is a permanent procedure and difficult to reverse, you should have a tubal ligation only if you never want to become pregnant in the future. Even though considered permanent, a tubal ligation through major surgery can sometimes be reversed. The reversal attempt carries risks, is expensive, and not always successful. Women under the age of 30 must be particularly cautious when considering tubal ligation, as regret is common later on. Tubal ligation does not protect against sexually transmitted diseases. You must use other methods to guard against these infections. If after careful consideration you have decided to get a tubal ligation, the procedure may be performed by laparoscopy or mini laparotomy. The surgery can be done under general anesthesia, spinal anesthesia, or rarely local anesthesia with sedation. The procedures are performed in the hospital right after childbirth or as an outpatient. In laparoscopic tubal ligation, your surgeon will typically make two small incisions in your abdomen. The laparoscope, a small tube with a camera attached to the end, is inserted into one incision, allowing your surgeon to see inside your abdomen during the surgery. Surgical tools are inserted through the other incision. Another instrument may be inserted through your vagina to hold your uterus in place during the surgery. Mini laparotomy, which is an open surgical procedure, may be preferred if you're having a tubal ligation immediately after giving birth, or if you are severely obese. In this procedure, a small incision is made just above the pubic bone. The fallopian tubes are closed under direct vision through the mini laparotomy incision. Regardless of the type of surgery, several methods may be used to close your tubes. Electrocoagulation, clipping or banding, or ligation. In electrocoagulation, a heated needle is used to cauterize or burn the tubes. If clips or bands are used, they go across or around a loop of the fallopian tube, physically closing the tube. If the tubes are ligated, small sutures are used to tie off the fallopian tube at two places, and the tied off part is cut out and removed. The abdominal incisions are then closed with stitches or staples. Tubal ligation is a very common procedure and relatively safe. Complications rarely occur. There are risks, however, as with any surgical procedure. The risks related to tubal ligation include bleeding in the surgical wound or the abdomen, infection in the surgical wound or the abdomen, blood clots and damage to blood vessels, nerves, muscles, or organs such as the bladder, ureter, or bowel, which may require surgical repair. There are also risks associated with general anesthesia, such as allergic reaction to the anesthetic, difficulty breathing, nausea or vomiting, and death. The last type of complication that can occur is failure of the procedure, which may lead to pregnancy even several years after the surgery. A missed period should always be investigated. Pregnancy can happen if the tubes grow back together or a clipper band comes off. If this happens, an egg may become fertilized and implant within the fallopian tube, an ectopic pregnancy. This can be a medical emergency requiring surgical removal of the implanted embryo and fallopian tube. What to expect after tubal ligation? After your surgery, you may be given medications to help control pain. Take these medications as directed. Following surgery, you may experience minor pain at the incision sites, shoulder pain, or vaginal spotting. These are all common symptoms and should get better in a few days. Heavier menstrual flows may occur for a few months. Be sure to get plenty of rest, avoid strenuous activity, heavy lifting, driving, and resumption of normal activities until directed by your surgeon. When to call your surgeon? Call your surgeon if you notice any unusual symptoms such as swelling, oozing, worsening of pain, or unusual redness around the incision fever over 100 degrees Fahrenheit, worsening abdominal pain, diarrhea, bloating or constipation, nausea or vomiting, or calf pain, leg swelling or shortness of breath. What to do? Before your surgery, discuss any questions or concerns you may have about the operation with your surgeon. Alternative therapy. 
Several other methods of permanent birth control are available and do not require a surgical procedure. These include contraceptive implants, which work by permanently blocking the fallopian tubes. There are other effective forms of birth control that are not permanent, including hormone injections, contraceptive implants, and the IUD. The birth control pill is almost as effective and very easy to discontinue. Birth control pills and IUDs have the added benefit of helping to regulate your menstrual cycle. Talk with your health care provider if you are interested in one of these methods. What we have learned. Tubal ligation is a method of birth control that is considered permanent. True or false? The answer is true. A tubal ligation may be performed by laparoscopy or mini laparotomy. True or false? The answer is true. Hormone injections and contraceptive implants are effective and reversible forms of contraception. True or false? The answer is true.